Good morning, how's it going today, YouTube? So it's Friday, we're most of the way through vacation, but still getting it. Um, me and my dad are gonna go do some squats today. We're gonna have a little friendly squat competition. We're gonna, he's gonna do as many reps as he can at 315, and I'm gonna do as many reps as I can at 405. We're gonna see who can uh, do the most. We tied on the deadlift competition, so let's see who uh, wins the squat round. And both of us love squats, so this really means a lot to us. So, And plus, we're really competitive. So, Let's see, who wins? The 35-year-old strong, good-looking man? Or the 61-year-old decrepit, falling apart old guy? I guess not really decrepit. I mean, I should really just say, you know, the 61-year-old version of me. So we got to the gym. Um... It felt a bit weird because uh, I've been lifting on a monolift for, well, squatting off a monolift for about a year now. So we're using this little rack that uh, they've got there. They also have a couple rogue racks, which I would have preferred to use. But this was what we had. Those two racks were being used. So we just started warming up. I uh, felt pretty good during the warm-ups. Uh, his lifts were looking all right. I mean, as you can see being his age he's got a limited range of motion but you know like i told him i'd count it because he's 61 so obviously we're all gonna get there at some point but yeah it no, felt pretty good warming up so he was finished with his warm-ups and uh he started his 315 am wrap for the competition and gotta say he went all out did his best gave a pretty good effort and he still did some uh, couple sets after this i mean drop set from 225 to 135 but still pretty impressive. Uh, he kept pushing through. Obviously, he had to take a couple breaks to get his breath, but guy kept going. I mean, he got a total of 14 reps in him, which, I mean, that's pretty good amount at his age, being 315 pounds on the bar. And, you know, doing it all in one set. I don't think he's tried to push himself past uh, 12 reps on this in quite some time. So he did very well. I was pretty, pretty impressed by it, but... We'll see here in a little bit how I do with my 405. Four, we're gonna be, I think we're getting to the on, end of this uh, 315 here. Oh. Yep, there it is. So I still had to warm up with the 315 because I don't want to just jump into 405. So I did a quick triple, you know, just get the blood flowing, get the joints going. But like I said, I was feeling pretty good. So we started this 405 and I, I honestly, I think I started it pretty strong. A couple quick reps, you know. Uh, didn't really start having to take deep breaths till probably like halfway through. Um, like I said, this set was, I definitely felt very lightheaded after this, but I ended up getting a total of 15 reps. And like I said, I was pretty impressed with myself for that. That's the most I've ever done at this. So rep PR for the day. And like I said, it, the lactic acid started to build up. I started to take deeper breaths afterwards. Um, in between each rep and it was just hard to push through but I, I was very determined to win it so afterwards we uh, decided to give it a nice little 495 triple and you know what I was pretty impressed at how fast that moved after doing 15 reps at 405 like it still moved just as easily as if I hadn't done anything beforehand uh, then we finished up with some quick accessory work. We did some RDLs. They have a pendulum squat machine, so I gave that a try. And then I did some, uh, what is it, belt squats with their, uh, they've got the Elite FTS machine. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the content today. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.